Hey viewers, welcome to another game of the Casual Pro Gamer. And today we're doing a game from Irelia, who's uh, playing in a pretty tanky team, I'd say. Because everyone except for Brand has some way to uh, stay alive. So we have a shield on Sion, we have the regeneration or the revive on Cartus, his ultimate anyway. Irelia is just very tanky, and Rumble has a shield and is very tanky. And Brand is kind of the damage dealer here, I guess, but they all do pretty decent damage. So the opponent's team, we see Ash and Akali and Katharina doing a lot of damage, obviously. Then uh, Warwick, kind of a regeneration hero, but not like in such a way that he's very hard to kill. He just does a lot of damage. And Tarek is the only tanky character. And we might be a seeing some uh, some problems for them, since they are well, I guess not tanky enough to handle this team. But we'll see. Anyway, uh, Irelia, so uh, the Crusada Portal, or whatever you want your name to be pronounced as, uh, sent me some. Excellent suggestions on what to talk about in this replay, since there are a lot of things, um, yeah, that are in the in the community at the moment, such as uh, the constant raging at people and calling people noobs and things like that. And I really, really hate that. Apparently, he does as well, since he suggested I would discuss it a little bit. So I'll be ke keeping a little bit of an eye on the. Uh, on the chat and hopefully I will catch some of it and I really I'm uh, I think I'm going to uh, get a new rule in my um, submissions here because I've been receiving a lot of sub submissions and I thank you all for that but if there's any raging going on by you then I'm not going to cast your replay that's going to be a new rule and I think um, it's very doable because the only thing you need is um yeah just not to uh call your opponents or well your team any names and just play the game try to be positive even if you're losing and all in all it shouldn't be too much of a challenge but anyway that's it for that for now and uh, as I said I will try to uh, to catch it a little bit if there's anything going on in the chat so I really as passive is um, yeah is excellent for what she actually does she is uh, kind of a tank with uh, damage capabilities and um, she has true damage in her abilities but we'll see her abilities in a moment she almost catches uh, Ash here. Uh, I thought she had Ignite, yeah. So, Ignite was uh, a little bit too early there. But they do get first blood. So, excellent. And Ash is still very low health, so she might be able to actually get this one. No. I wonder what happened to the Q. Oh, it has a 13 second cooldown for now. So um, anyway, the Ionian Fervor, as it's called, the uh, innate ability, reduces the stuns and such, uh, and the more champions there are in the vicinity, the, l the less she gets stunned. Yeah, so this was a very early, uh, very easy kill, as she should have never stayed in. There was no way she was going to heal up enough from whatever item she has. To uh, to stay in, and yeah, this guy is going to die as well. Yeah, this is what the problem is with uh, with Irelia. Irelia does a lot of damage and has a stun. Only the stun is uh, only works when your uh, opponent is at higher health than you are. Anyway, um, so Ash. But yeah, the Doran's Blade with the 3% lifesteal, so that gives you like 10 life per uh, 
per minion wave if you're playing it correctly and that's not going to be enough to survive at like uh, 100 health so again getting the stun off because she's so low health and um, yeah getting another kill I don't know what this Ash is thinking uh, you need to know these things if you're playing Ash Ash is very very fragile you shouldn't do those kind of things anyway while she's running back here I hope nobody gets killed but uh, I'll be <laughs> discussing the skills a little bit so blade search uh, the obvious level one choice although not well you, you there can be situations where you pick another one but anyway uh, this is your last hit um, your, your last hit uh, uh, skill it um, deals at the moment a hundred damage but obviously it has a one-to-one -one ratio with your uh, uh, attack damage and the higher your attack damage the higher this is going to be and because she bought a Doran's Blade it's now up to 81 and the main thing is uh, if you kill the target the cooldown refreshes so you can use it over and over and over again but it also refunds some of the mana so uh, half of the mana in fact so that is excellent for farming and um, you can use it to uh, yeah, stay out of the fight then dash into the fight with your Q and eventually uh, get something done with it so get a lot of last hits mainly and here it was of course used as extra damage because it still does a hundred damage so that's that's a lot for and it gets you into the fight a lot quicker excellent use of the brush here by the way so the heightened style um, yeah means that you basically gain extra health for each attack you make so all physical attacks but I think all attacks are physical except for the the ultimate and um, well the active uh, that's the true damage so it's only 15 true damage so it's nothing compared to uh, what uh, oh what's the new one called come on what vein um, puts out as true damage because true damage of course is very useful in fighting against uh, people with high armor values because it ignores all armor all magic resist it just deals damage and it will level up if you uh, put it and make it a higher level uh, then the equilibrium strike um, and this is the one with the target uh, with the stun I'm sorry <laughs> with the target whatever um, so it normally slows but um, if you have uh, a lower health than your opponent uh, when you attack them you actually get a stun instead of a slow and yeah that makes it such a good skill plus it does a lot of damage but it depends on uh, AP not on magic so this one is actually magic damage so it doesn't trigger the physical attacks uh, from the W so you don't get life back for it but all of your f basic attacks do so as you can see Ash is getting much too forward against these two they have two stuns they have um, yeah they have a lot of damage combined and Ash really cannot stand up to that kind of damage so and this is really why you uh, why you shouldn't do that oh why I hate playing in normal games with uh, people that cannot play because well he um, he just gets killed like four times I think yeah four times and gets no minions I mean seven minions uh, while you are a very good champion to farm with and then you just quit so you leave your uh, the rest of your team to to die basically
because there's no way they can win when they're 9 2 behind. And um, yeah, anyway. So the translucent bl blades, then, the ultimate. <laughs> Before I actually explain all the skills, we're already at 9 2, and uh, the game is already over. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, the ultimate. Yeah, it deals only uh, 90 da around 90 damage, and um, uh, yeah, it it does some healing for you, so that's why she's such a great tank. This heals you up a lot, especially if you use the minions. And normally, the ultimate is in fact used on minions because with uh, the four spirit blades, as they're called. You um yeah you actually get a uh, a complete minion wave in just the four shots and early on just like with the uh, misfortune ultimate there's not a lot of use for it elsewhere because yeah the 85 damage okay uh, uh, times four that's true but if you even if you hit all four of them it's like 300 damage and 